Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I'm Elizabeth Chapineau, Vice Principal of Academics and Educational Technology. And I am Jennifer Reinwald, Vice Principal of Student Life and Mission. I would like to begin today's ceremony by asking our Director of Campus Ministry, Ms. Edie Payne, to lead us in prayer. As we gather together on this special day, we take a moment to pause and remember that we are in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Good and loving God, we thank you for each and every student who will graduate today. We give thanks for all they have contributed to the Crondelet community and for their families who have lovingly supported them along the way. As they leave Crondelet and make decisions about what roads to take, may they always have the support of friends and family. God, when they feel moments of doubt and hesitation on their journey, may they remember that you are always with them. We ask you to bless all of our graduates, Lord, with a healthy, happy, and meaningful future. Give them courage to follow their dreams. And may all our graduates use their heart, faith, courage, and excellence to create a world in which peace and justice reigns. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. God is my light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please be seated. Board of Trustees, colleagues, family, and friends, thank you for joining us to celebrate and commemorate our seniors. Here you are, our much-loved class of 2023. Our purpose this morning is not really to give you advice, but to look back on your journey. This should be easy. You sit here all dressed alike, having reached the same destination. But you are all unique individuals on your own path. What connects you is Carondelet. We provided the map, and you took your own paths to get here today. For parents and guests, each year, our campus ministers and SLC pick a song for the year. This song is the exit song for each liturgy and mass. The title becomes the morning announcements tagline, the guiding notes that accompany our travels and set the tone. When preparing this address, we realized just how appropriate your playlist of liturgical songs has been, accompanying 191 unique individuals through an atypical journey in a very distinctive way. Freshman year, B1, Natalie Grant. The lyrics spoke your truth those first days of school. We don't feel ready, we don't feel steady. The song encouraged you and challenged you. It's time to get your hands dirty. Oh, 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 oh. The song, of course, is about a greater calling, but. So is the challenge that Carondelet gave you as freshmen to become part of a sisterhood. What does that even mean? Well, it's a call to action, to have you create a community and open your arms and hearts to all your classmates. In CSJ language, it is a call for unifying love. Looking at the world, this seems like an impossible task. To create sisterhood, you can sit around and wait for a miracle to come or you can be one. You leaned into that vision, you joined teams, participated in councils and clubs, and an attempted mastery-based programming. You made connections and collaborated and engaged, living the true meaning of the words that are lessons for your life forevermore. We can be the change, be the hope. We can be the arms that don't let go. We can be a light in the dark. We are, we are where it starts. Sophomore year, My Lighthouse, Rend Collective. A global pandemic forced you to start your sophomore year 
quarantined from each other behind computer screens. We saw you connecting virtually during sophomore spotlights and masked and distanced during hybrid school days. You were challenged early and often to keep engaging with each other, building each other up and developing in the sisterhood. It certainly was a time when you embodied the lyrics, in my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. You became the peace in our troubled sea as you participated in a virtual core zone focusing on friendship and navigated COVID protocols at school, co-curricular activities and athletics. The truth is that sophomore year is traditionally a difficult time. The newness and excitement of high school have worn off. Friendships change. Students get interested in new pursuits and want to try new things, which means sometimes that old interests and activities become a thing of the past. You all navigated through these usual storms with the additional hurricane of COVID. It was a year where everyone was seeking a way to be carried safe to shore. What was your lighthouse? The short answer was each other and our larger school community. Junior year, show love, Harper still at all. After spending a year virtually simulating community, we were back, not group A, group B, but back, back on campus all together. Adults and students were a little traumatized from a year of social distancing. We were, we were all kind of like feral cats asked to sit still, wear uniforms, and respect bell schedules. The song that year was happy and upbeat, but the lyrics acknowledged where everyone sat. Nobody wants to be hurting. Nobody wants to be bruised. We carry a load heavier than most that we don't deserve to. And yet, it was this shared COVID experience that created a common purpose. On the surface, things were back to the old world. Shalom retreats in the Redwoods resumed, teams came back full force, and academic schedules got harder. We wore our masks, and that alone was a reminder of how much things were still not the same. Things were different, and it took us time to see each other and find true connection. Our song of the year was again a mantra of sorts that reminded us of what is important, of what we need and what we must give authentically. We must show love. I just want to know love, I just want to breathe love, because everybody needs, everybody needs love. Senior year, do life big, Jamie Grace. And this brings us to this year, your senior year. Dr. Chapineau and I have spoken with many of you at retreats, events, meetings, and in the classes we both taught. We've listened to many of you work through the struggle of both wanting to graduate and move on to the next adventure, but at the same time wanting to stay and savor every moment of your last year of high school with your friends, family, and peers. For many seniors, the Kairos retreat is a time to reflect, to take a moment to share your sacred story and to hear your classmates' stories in return. As you move forward into the next chapter of your lives, as you seek to truly live the fourth, we know the values that you've learned, the care for the dear neighbor without distinction, the drive to be all of which woman is capable, the desire to serve the needs of the times will guide you. You are still writing your story, one filled with forks in the road, obstacles, journey partners, and new realizations. Our prayer for you is that you take what you've learned and use it to bring goodness and light into the world. As you go out into the world of possibility, we hope you slow down, stop for a second, take a look around, Spread your wings and fly. I've got a secret to share. You are enough to change the atmosphere. So go and do life big. My mother used to say, life is a journey, not the destination. You set goals, you pick majors, you chart a course. But as Robert Burns wrote, the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. And so no matter how well you plan, things will push you off course. Maybe not a global pandemic, but other things. And even if it seems like you were thrown off course, consider the possibility that, is, that this is just where you were meant to be. When that comes, never forget the music and the lessons to gain, because that is where the magic lies. It is the journey that builds the soundtrack. What will be the soundtrack that accompanies your life? The spirit of the sisters is in you, their charism, the values of unifying love, and the call to meet the needs of the time are your compass. 
Remember your part as one who carries the Carondelet Sisterhood. More than ever, the world needs connection. So be the miracle, bring shelter to others, show love, and always remember to do life big. We will be watching from the sidelines and cheering you on because who's, who's the, the class, class you want to see? Every year, students vote to nominate peers to represent them as their salutatorian. The final candidate is selected by a committee of faculty and staff and then welcomes us to the celebration of this day. It is my pleasure to introduce the salutatorian from the class of 2023, Emma Donnelly. Good morning, class of 2023. Wow, our time has officially come to part with Crondelet. After today, there will be no more Garavena food, early, early shows, or dress codes. We've come a long way. And after four amazing years together, I can confidently say that each one of us is much different than we were in August of 2019. Crondelet has shaped us to become strong, thoughtful individuals. We've, we have become people of heart. Socially and in passing on campus, we have offered one another friendship and inclusivity. Our solidarity has made us more loving. We have become people of faith. As a class, we have demonstrated outstanding community involvement and service. Our spirituality has made us more compassionate. We have become people of excellence. In classes, we have aided one another in finding the fortitude to take academic risks and to strive for improvement. Our perseverance has made us more ambitious. However, I believe that the most important way Crondelet has changed us is by teaching us courage. To have courage is to understand your passions and to use them to make a significant difference in your environment. This is something that the class of 2023 has excelled at. Both in classes and in extracurriculars, we have been competitive leaders in our areas of strength. We have inspired those around us to get involved and to demonstrate dedication to what they love. We have made this sisterhood unforgettable. How, oh, sorry. Seniors, while today we are parting physically with Crondelet, I hope that you never part with the courage you have developed as a cougar. It is your courage that will empower you in your future. It is your courage that will motivate you to do what you love. And it is your courage that will allow you to change the world. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2023. Now we invite the senior members of the Crondelet Chamber Choir to lead their class in the singing of their graduation song. Class of 2023, please stand to sing your graduation song.
Thank you, seniors. That was wonderful. Please be seated. Seniors with the highest GPAs are invited to prepare a valedictory speech and present it to a committee of administrators and faculty who then select the speech they feel most exemplifies both the graduating class and Carondelet High School. Please join me in honoring Morgan Gamble as our valedictorian. Good morning, Board of Directors, Mrs. Mix, Ms. Reinwald, Dr. Chapineau, faculty and staff of Carondelet, family, friends, and the class of 2023. Congratulations. What? <laughs> what started on August 15th, 2019 is culminating today, May 20th, 2023. As I wrote this speech, I pictured each of you in turn. I heard your laughs in the inner court. I remembered your strong, vulnerable stories from Kairos. I felt the warmth of your smiles and the comfort of your presence. As a rather sentimental person, I cherish the opportunity to reflect on our last four years together. The Carondelet class of 2023 accomplished great things. We won North Coast Section Championships, signed national letters of intent, and led high school productions of the world's best musicals. We spoke out against the injustices in our community and broke the chain of gender-based violence. We watched the Gene Hoffman Center for Innovation open and the entire world close a short month later. Yet the most important thing we did was love. On our first day, we were challenged to love our dear neighbor without distinction. Every day since, we have proven up to that challenge. We traveled to numerous nonprofits as part of our Frost Day of Service and built a tiny home for migrant farm workers. We sang show love at the top of our lungs during liturgies and baked each other delicious Kairos cookies. We loved each other through an intimidating freshman year, a global pandemic, and the highs and lows associated with growing up. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 25, we read that the rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. Carondelet was not built as a shelter from the storm, but as a place that teaches young women to dance in the rain. Brick by brick, and column by column, Carondelet built us into women of undeniable heart, unshakable faith, and unconditional courage. Now it is time to build your future. As the architect of your own story, you have the power to decide how your life unfolds. You can contribute to cutting edge research, find your passion in law and politics, or write the next New York Times bestseller. You can do whatever scares you, excites you, or fulfills you. My hope is this, that you fall in love with life, that God's guidance sees you through your greatest triumphs and hardest challenges, and that the lessons you learned in the last four years will guide you through the next 40. Congratulations, class of 2023. The best is yet to come. It's almost that time. The Board of Directors at Carondelet High School has empowered the administration of the school upon the recommendation of the faculty to recognize the successful completion of a prescribed course of studies for the class of 2023 to confer a diploma in testimony of such achievement. In presenting the graduates of the class of 2023, I ask that you hold your applause and cheers until the end of the ceremony as we do not want to deny any family the opportunity to hear their daughter's name announced. 
I invite Mrs. Mix and Mrs. Reinwald to join me in conferring the diplomas. Graduates, please stand. Just right. Okay. Now the first row stays standing, <laughs> and the rest of you sit down. Feli Melinda Academia. <laughs> Chloe Aguilar. <laughs> Mariana Aiello. Jazzalina Albelba. Gianna Allen. Christina Allington. Ava Allison. <laughs> Sophia Andrawas. <laughs> Desiree Arambala. Gianna Archidiacano. Catherine Armstrong. Lauren Addis. Francesca Orius. Michaela Bach. Jessica Belcher. <laughs> Margaret Bergen. Olivia Bazanson. Anissa Blackmore. Morgan Blair. Zoe Booth. Haley Brizak. McKenna Brosnan.
Caitlin Brown. Madeline Buckley. Abigail Callahan. Melinda Kark. Alita Carpenter. Carly Castaneto. Valentina Castillo. Amira Sabalo. Dariana Seha. Carly Chance. Morgan Chapel. Liana Chin. Gabriella Chung. Sydney Clifford. Casey Collado. Claire Collins. Janessa Columbana. Olivia Connell. Ava Conti. Alec Cosper. Samantha Cox. Elise Coyle. Isabella Crespo. Alexandra Cummins. Olivia Daly. Marie Daniel. Hannah Darby. Tanya Dawes.
Page David. Audrey Davis. Jenna Davis. Sabrina de Arujo. Mary DiMartini. Janelle D'Souza. Emma Donnelly. Kira Dooley. Lindsay Dublin. Claudia Dumay. Amelia Ehrlich. Zoe Eleftheriotis. Cassandra Esco. Kennedy Fabian. Gabriella Felix. Felice Ferguson. Isabella Furland. Marissa Fletes. Sophia Flores. Emily Fosker. Isabella Frank. Morgan Gamble. Samantha Gibson. Lauren Greenfield. Zara Greer. Zoe Gregorius.
Catherine Gregory. Natalia Guerrera. Juliana Harrington. Jane Hatfield. Ava Hempling. Lauren Hett. Catherine Hickey. Rosario Enojosa. Mackenzie Hoey. Ingrid Hummeltoft. Tara Hood. Lauren Hunter. Stephanie Yanacone. Alexa James. Abigail Jenkins. Lindsay Johnson. Ryan Giroff. Isabella Kaplan. Catherine Cavanaugh. Lauren Kenny. Jamie Kent. Carla Knutstad. Olivia Crocked. <laughs> Sophia Lamiero. <laughs> Hannah Lang. Emily Laws. Macy Lehrer.
Ava Lewis. Yukiko Madsen. Carly McCool. Gianna Minoni being handed her diploma by her mother and faculty member, Candy Minoni. Naraya Martinez. Serena Martinez. Serena Marwa. Natalie Massa. Michelle Mayorga. Kristen Maze. Kaylin McCormack. Kate McDonough. Riley McIntosh. June McMahon. Reagan McPeak. Lara Meeks being handed her diploma by her mother and DLS faculty member Meredith Barnage. Brianna Meredith. Taylor Merritt. Jillian Miller O'Sullivan. Samantha Miller. <laughs> Catherine Mullane. Giselle Munoz. Tina Musco. Ryan Nelson. Lena Nguyen.
Jocelyn Nunez. Emma Nudi. Alexis Uzaize Opene. <laughs> Hannah Ormsby. <laughs> Valentina Ortiz. Katrina Owens. Gianna Pacas. Natalie Palmer. Mackenzie Papalia. Yeah. Sierra Parks. Yeah. Charlie Pasolacqua. Jessica Patterson. Elizabeth Pauline. Camila Perez. Iris Perez Alonzo. Ivan Petrov. Sasha Piper. Elizabeth Perzer. Sienna Pugai. Helen Rago. Kaya Ramos. Caroline Rarden. Julia Reyes. Caitlin Rohde. Morgan Rotenberry. Kylie Roxo.
Lauren Saeed. Lulu Sandbergen. Shelby Santos. Ellie Shayberries. Ella Shock. Samantha Schwager. Heidi Seib. Lauren Simpson. Chloe Sitzman. Lily Rose Solorzano. Raquel Soltis. Aaron Stein. Abigail Stouffer. <laughs> Cecilia Sturm. Cameron Sumakwial. Natalie Surian. <laughs> Sophia Teresa Taft. Corincia Tagaloa. <laughs> Eva Tony. Somachi Uwakwe. <laughs> Colleen Van Note. <laughs> Sofia Villasenor. Elizabeth Vranish. Grace Wasenager. Layla Waters. Taylor Whitmore.
Alexandra Wiederhold. Vera Williams. Anna Wilson. Molly Wolf. Carly Wan. Emily Wong. Isabella Woznak. Christine Shu. Caitlin Yasamura. Abby Zdanowitz. Julia Zile. Okay, now we got it. Graduates, please stand. It is my honor to present to you the class of 2023. Students, please move your tassels from right to left. Now, we invite back the senior members of the Carondelet Chamber Choir to lead their class in the singing of the alma mater. Please join our graduates.
Thank you, graduates. Please be seated. I now invite President Jessica Mix to address our graduates. I'd like to begin by thanking members of our board of directors, alumni, and all members of the Carondelet community, past and present. I'd also like to thank our incredibly dedicated and talented faculty and staff who are committed to and truly believe in our mission and in the education of young women. You all are a wonderful gift. I would also like to thank all the parents, guardians, and families that have been the primary educators in the home and true partners these past four years. Your unconditional love and support of your daughters has helped us create a foundation of strength for our graduates. We are extremely proud to be part of their journey. Earlier today, you heard about the beautiful playlist that became the soundtrack to your time here at Crondelet from Dr. Chapineau and Mrs. Reinwald. This compilation of greatest hits and the way you choreographed your time here to it has led to today. It has led to you all sitting here in front of us, ready and willing to take that next step. A world of possibility and endless promise is at your feet. And while the next step can seem nerve wracking and a little bit frightening, it is also laced in unmatched excitement and anticipation, a complex emotion I hope you can sit with and appreciate for as long as possible. There are few times in life where the transition is so clear. There is rarely a definitive line in the sand showing the end of one time and the start of another. Cherish this inflection point where you can think on the past with gratitude, yet stare squarely ahead with the hope and wonder of what's to come. It is in these moments that you realize fear and worry sit right next to courage. They are good friends. The presence of courage does not mean that fear is diminished. It is simply an active choice to push through it anyway. Something we have watched you all do time and time again during your four years with us. While this unique time is certainly magical, it does not mean that it, this is the time to have it all figured out. You have likely already learned that life doesn't fit into neat little packages or checkoff lists. You have learned that every process does not always start with A and end with Z. You have learned that you don't always have to know where you are going to continue moving forward. We hope you have learned to trust yourself and your instincts to tackle life as it uniquely comes to you. Your path will not look like your neighbors. Your triumphs and mistakes will take on different forms. But you are ready, you are proactive, you are nimble, you respond to the needs of the times. And you will be defined not by your mistakes, but by how you persevere and treat others along the way. I was recently at a conference at a school in Atlanta focused on engaging all types of students. One of the teachers, Michael Bonner, coined a phrase, you can't expect a withdrawal from someone that you have never invested in. And it struck me. That is what all of these amazing faculty and staff have done here at Carondelet. They have made the connections, put in the time, and cared about you personally. These relationships have pushed and nourished you. They have created a space for great achievements and provided the comfortability to have the important, difficult conversations. And from what we can see here today, the investment has come back tenfold. But if we really look hard, we can see that this is what the sisters have always designed for us. They have taught us to invest in those around us. They have taught us that all people need connection, love, and inclusion. They have taught us the true meaning of making a deposit that is rooted in service, God's presence, and unifying love. However, with no disrespect to Michael Bonner, those sneaky sisters have one-upped him because they have taught us to move past the simple transaction of deposit to withdrawal. They have infused in us the understanding that the withdrawal 
It's not actually meant for the ones who invested. At Crondelet, the withdrawal is a gift, a spark that we gladly hand back to you to go and invest in yourself and others. To use this spark to stand up for issues that make a difference in the human condition. As a new alumna of our wonderful school, you will learn that this spark can never be snuffed out. Even in the darkest moments, when it seems like there is not enough oxygen to keep the fire ablaze, this unwavering, God-given light inside of you will carry you forward. You have the tools, you know what to do, and you can find comfort knowing that that same spark resides in the over 12,000 alumni who carry it with you. So as we send you out with immense excitement and pride and just a tinge of sadness, please know that you have made a mark on our hearts. You are forever part of the fabric of the Sisters of St. Joseph, and Carondelet will always be your home. Take your light, continue to shine, and remember to use your spark to help light the candle in others. We believe in you, we love you, and to us, you are already a huge success. Congratulations, and may God continue to bless you always, class of 2023. So before we move forward, I'd like to remind all families of our exiting process today. So once faculty, staff, and students have processed out, Live Nation has ushers that will be releasing everyone row, one row at a time, starting with the back row. Please make sure to exit the way you came in to ensure a smooth ending. So now I'd like to invite Colleen Van Note, 2023 graduate and senior class president, to lead us in closing prayer. Let us all take a, a moment to remember that we are in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In gratitude we pray. God of joy and hope, we thank you for this time of graduation. Your spirit of wisdom has empowered our hard work and discipline in such a way that our hunger for learning has been nourished with knowledge, discovery, creativity, and determination. In gratitude, we pray for our families and the many who have sacrificed and worked to see us in this hopeful moment. In gratitude, we pray for the faculty, staff, and administrators who have challenged, cared, and crafted us along this academic journey. In gratitude, we pray for our fellow students who have taught us more about friendship, collaboration, and gifted us with truly lifelong bonds and memories. God, even as we have faced challenges and accomplished much, we understand that our lives move into a new chapter where there will be more demanded of us in order to accomplish good things. May your grace cover our anxieties so that we may stay encouraged about the future. May your spirit guide us as we unfold the next chapters of our lives and help us to enliven hope in the world and bring good things to your kingdom. And may the celebration be a reflection of the blessings that we find knowing and loving you. For this is the day that you have made, and we are glad and rejoice in it. St. Joseph, pray for us. God is my light. Graduates, please stand.